Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about the query selector method in JavaScript. So essentially the query selector lets you find the first element that matches the CSS selector that you specify. So basically it lets you find HTML elements. Now we're going to see how this thing works with an example. So we have this h2 heading tag here with an ID of title. In the browser, we get that right there. So now I'm going to use JavaScript and the query selector method to actually reference this whole element within the JavaScript code. So let's start by defining a new constant and calling this constant something like page title. Okay, this will be equal to the return value of the query selector method and we're going to call this method on the document okay so I'm going to say document dot query selector okay inside here I'm going to pass in the CSS selector to search for all right I'm going to pass in h2 inside here so now this will give us the first element which has the h2 tag. So now if I was to console.log the page title right here, okay, if I save this, go in the browser, and then refresh here, we get that in the actual console output. So we've found the element, okay? So it's given us the first element with the h2 tag, that one right there. Okay, if I was to make a new h2 tag above this one and call this something like new heading, all right, if I was to then save this and refresh the browser, this time we get a new heading in the console. So that is now the new first h2 tag. This is a CSS selector, which means we can actually pass in most of the normal CSS um, selectors inside here, if not all. So I can actually go inside here and say hashtag title, okay? So that means find the first element with an ID of title. That hash means ID, so the first element with an ID of title. In this case here, if I save, we should now once again see that in the console, okay? So it's finding that title ID right there. All right. Now we can do the same thing with classes, for example. Let's just change this um, constant name to something more meaningful, such as um, result. Okay, so result equals um, the query selector. Now let's make a few new divs inside the body with a class of box. Okay, box one, box two, box three. So now we have. We have three new divs inside the body with a class of box with different values inside here. So now I'm going to select the first box using the query selector method. Inside here, I'll get rid of this and say dot box. A dot means search for a class. So the first box class. If I save this and refresh, we get box one in the console. All right, so pretty interesting and obviously comes in handy. Now, just keep in mind that this method is part of the element prototype, which means you can actually use this on elements themselves, okay? So, to see how this works, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna actually um, make a new div below here and give it an ID of something like container one. Okay, so now inside here, I'm going to just copy one of these boxes and put it inside there and give it a new name, something like container one and then box one. All right, get rid of all that and make a new container down here. Okay, container two and then container two, box one. So now, refreshing the browser, what do we get? 
we get container one box one. Okay, that's because we're getting the first class of box in the document. So it's going to be that one right there. Okay, I can actually call this query selector method on this container to element to find the first box class in this element itself. So let's just change this code right here by first getting a reference to the container to div. So we'll say const and then call this one container to equal to document dot query selector and pass in container to. So now we have the container to reference. We can actually go ahead and say container to dot query selector and then say box. So now if I save this and refresh this time around we get container to box one because we're calling the method on container two. So it's going to look for the first box class inside container two and not the entire document. All right. Now, if I was to make this something like um, box 45, an unknown class, all right, an unknown class, if I save this, we get null in the browser. So it'll give you null if you can't actually find an element to actually return. So that's how you can use the query selector method in a JavaScript document object model. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.